the main reason is basically hardcore uh, spawned from punk rock. So like we like to call hardcore the bastard child of punk. Because we just like, the thing is hardcore is they took punk rock and made it more aggressive, you know? And gave it more of a positive edge, you know? Because like, you know, with punk rock everything was like, yeah, you know, negative and this and that. But with a you know, big thing like Agnostic Front did, they came in and they, 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 they showed unity within the scene. You know, Not like, you know, punk rock was everything, fuck you, whatever. But we still had that attitude, of course. But um, we preach unity. You know, that's why our scene is so strong, you know what I mean? Because we try to unite everybody together. And sometimes people get the wrong idea, and they, they hear our lyrics, they hear fight, fight this, fight that. We talk about fighting against the outside world. That's that's what we're talking about. Sometimes people get the wrong idea of that. So it's like, you know, the punk rock is where it came from. Some people think it came from metal, but that's wrong. That's totally wrong. Some people think that. I mean, yeah, where you been? <laughs> yeah, people think it came from metal. It's, it's not from metal. Music came from punk rock. That's what hardcore was. That's like, you know, that's where it was spawned from. I never heard that it came from metal. I don't know whoever thought that. Anyway, because I was an old punk rocker. Anyway, uh, that's okay. As long as they're here now, that's the main thing. That is that's, true. That's Absolutely. the main thing. You know what I mean? We don't neglect and we don't, nobody. You know, we fight oppression. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's, you know, and uh, a little like anti-society, you know. I don't know what booklet they're talking about. What, yeah. What, what booklet? I don't know. Yeah. I don't really know. I, I, that You got me on that question. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know. Bully Boys, yeah, cool maybe, band. Maybe, maybe, no, they're not. No, maybe it was I don't cool. know. Yeah, you don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe it was a bootleg or something. Yeah. I really don't, I don't know. know. We don't know. Sorry. I mean, honestly, I think maybe our, our worst record was um, Dead Yuppies. Just, I don't know, that's one of those records we just don't play any songs off, but we just don't really feel that one. I don't know. What do you guys think? I you agree. Know. Yeah, well, you know what it was. Uh, we had a crossroads, you know, at the time, so, you know, that's how it goes. I mean, we have 15 albums out, so, you know. One egg ain't so bad. Yeah. It takes a dozen eggs to make an omelet, you know? There you go. Well, I guess whoever answered, whoever asked this question obviously hasn't seen all our videos. Especially they haven't seen our new one. So, um, you know, I don't agree with that. Well, that's always a different video. Plus, we're from the streets of New York City. That's where hardcore comes from. The streets of New York City, streets of Poland, streets of Buenos Aires, streets of Rosario. From the streets. What can I say? I can't think of a video in a subway because that's not where we're from. Hey, maybe we'll make a rap video with naked girls in it. Is that what you want? Yeah, I don't think so. That's not what we're about. So. We don't, you know, we don't. We're one of those bands that stay neutral, stay in the middle for everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, political-wise, we we, we're don't. we not really a political band. We speak about social policy stuff that goes on around, around us on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, sometimes people are so extreme to the left or so extreme to the right, they just come around in full circle. I mean, you know, we're just, we're just a hardcore band. We're not really into, like, the political edge of it, you know? We just come in and we talk about oppression, overcoming oppression. You know, I come from a... I come from a communist country, I come from Cuba. My family left Cuba with myself as a little boy, as five years old, to seek, you know, to seek a better life, and they chose to go to America to, to, for, to, for their American dream. So I know what it's like to live in a communist country, communist regime, and want to move forward to somewhere else, you know? And, and I don't, you know, I just look at it as a, as a, low, as a learning thing, you know, like, it's always somehow a, to better yourself in life, whether it's one way or another, you know? How's that? New York Yankees, number one. Porn star? Who's, who, who's who? I don't know. I don't know. We don't watch porn. Yeah. I, I don't know. Let's see. Well, we've got to pick one, right? I don't know. I don't know any current porn people. I, don't I really, really don't, don't know. know. Uh, all, 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 all the, all the, all the roster on Jules Jordan because you know. <laughs> 
they're our friends and they come to our show. So I can't pick one. And what's the other question? Favorite beer. What's your favorite beer? Ah, Jesus. I don't know. Well, now I'm not, I don't drink beer anymore because I, I stopped drinking. But my favorite beer was maybe Wasteiner. Um, Kronbach. Kronbach, um, you know. Kronbach, uh, I, I like Stella. I drink uh, uh, Beck's non-alcoholic now. Uh, well, the changes are many changes. Like, for instance, uh, through uh, the, the, the parkour that developed through all the years that grew older, came doctors, lawyers, friends of ours, the engineers, people that seek great things, you know what I mean? Musicians, artists, poets. So, uh, very high achievements, you know, in, in, in many genres. We got uh, the old farm casuals. Cruel cool hand. Cruel cool hand. What else we got there? I don't know, man. Uh, I don't feel good. Yeah, you don't feel good, Roger. Uh, a lot of wisdom and chains. And, Naysayer. You know, Naysayer right here, you know, trapped on the rice, you know. Fire and ice. There's a lot of good bands yeah. on the band. Yeah, a lot of new young bands, you know, that we support, you know. And, uh, you know, we play them on our radio, uh, Black and Blue Radio on uh, eastvillageradio.com every Tuesday night from uh, 8 o'clock Eastern T Standard Time. You can hear all the new bands on that. They play everything from young, new school, old school bands. So yeah. You can find out yes. all the new and old bands. Yeah, support the new school bands. You know, it's very important. You know, they, they, they keep it going. Sure, we could hear AF songs in other games. I mean, there's been AF songs in extreme sports and motors cross, and people you know use it for everything. You know, like anything extreme, like of a of a sport. Yeah, so why not in games? What's the difference? You know, hey, you know, as long as, as long as they want to hear it, people want to hear it. It's going to be everywhere. That's the way it goes. Yeah, I hear it in my sleep too. Got, I mean, gotta go and play in soccer stadiums. I mean. Our music could be played anywhere. Skate videos, video games, wherever. At the hardcore show. Well, after so many years of being in a band, you know, I have a lot of music in me. You know what I mean? Uh, Roger does this thing with the disasters every now and again. We branch out to different things. We have a lot of music in us, you know? And, uh, you know, I, I, I got a bunch of guys behind me, you know, uh, helping me out. You know, Phil Gavano from Monster Magnet and Lars Fredrickson from Rancid, you know, helping me out doing these things. And Mike, of course. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, we just, it's just, we just love music, you know. We got so much to give that we just, Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, that's, that's it. We don't really know anything else. This is our life, you know. Hardcore, punk rock, rock and roll, oi. So we just, it's just, you know, another thing for us to keep busy and then, you know, we just have fun with it. Basically, yeah, we're coming out with a new album soon, soon, so, you know, be aware of that, and, you know, and uh, we're going to have a good time with it. Watch out for Stigma's new album. I mean, Jamie's a, a great guy. He's really talented. I mean, he's helped us with um, another voice. He's helped us with the first Stigma record. I mean, Jamie's a really great, talented guy. Um, the answer to, I mean, we're good friends with Jamie, but you know, I haven't heard his new record yet. So, I mean, I heard like maybe one song, but I can't honestly give you an opinion on it because I have not honestly heard the record yet. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to hearing it. All right, I tell you what, uh, he, we, he wrote a record, a song with me on uh, the new Stigma album that'll come out. So maybe then, then if you get that record, you hear the, re the cut that me and Jamie wrote together, maybe you could get another handle on it. I mean, J Jamie's one of those guys that loves music, all types of music. He's a true music lover, you know, so I guess with his Josta, his solo project, his solo thing, it's just a collage of all the stuff he loves and, and you know, kind of expanding on himself, which is, which is good. I think it's good. I think it's important. I think it's changed, but I think change is important. You know, it, it's just good to to move on. Sometimes you feel like you, you do one thing for so long, you're stuck there. That's why bands like The Disasters and Stigma, and they're around just to, we have our other 
places to throw the rest of the music. We want to get out. Or we want to say that, you know, you just can't channel it all through one spot. So that's good. Yeah, all the outlets and stuff it's like just that. Just like with every Agnostic Front record. I mean, you know, we, we, you know, we, I mean, every record has a different, you know, I mean, it has a different feel to it. You know what I mean? It's still Agnostic Front, you know what I mean? But it's just like, you know, it, there's nothing wrong with change as long as you're, as long as you're just sticking with the roots of what you love and what you've been doing, there's nothing wrong with it. Hey, he's a talented guy. I mean, you know, he's got great lyrics and stuff like that. Sometimes, he's, you know, he's just a good guy. Check it out. It's, it's good. If you like metal and stuff like that and hardcore, it's got to be in the catalog. Uh, definitely NNC. Uh, hardcore channel. That's for sure, man. That's the best, man. We love you guys. Yeah. Didn't answer anything. No, it never does. <laughs> okay, look, we're the Godfathers of Hardcore. So if I had to think who the mother was, I would say the mother's NNC and the father is Vinny Stigma. Well, staying true to ourselves and to our fans is number one. We're always involved. Whether it's New York Hardcore Tattoos, Disasters, Stigma, EastVillageRadio.com, we're always there. We're in the pit, not like a lot of people. So let me tell you something right now, kids. We'll always be number one because we got your back. Basically, we give back to the scene. A lot of people like to ride off of one record they wrote, and then they keep coming out here for that. We like to give back. We keep, we're still in the game, still putting out new records, fresh music, and we're still going strong. This band's been around for 30 years, and we still ain't stopping. Polish vodka. I'm drinking it right now. It's the best. We love it. Thank you very much for it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I stopped drinking. Thanks to Polish vodka. I'm gonna lose everything, man. I'm gonna lose all my friends. Here, hold on a minute. Funny thing about it. Funny thing about it, he's got the microphone. He turns around. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. The microphone's over here. They can't hear it, right? <laughs> I think they might have picked it up. That's for many years of drinking Polish vodka. That's Polish vodka for you. See how crazy this guy is? They yeah. Is. Thanks to Polish vodka. Polish vodka is the best. Alright. You buy my record, New York Blood. And you can find out how old I am. You know why? Hell's Kitchen, West Side, December 3rd, 1955. Last words, I want to say thank you all here in Poland for the great support throughout the years. Not only just here in Poland, we have uh, great Polish fans all over the world. In New York City, in, Green, in the district of Greenpoint, in Queens, or Brooklyn that is, there's a lot of great Polish people there. Every time we play in, all over the world, we see it, you know, so I think there's, uh, it's just I want to say a lot. Thank you very much for Polish Hardcore and for the love and support. And I'd like to say thank you very much too because I'm very good friends with Ivan Putski, the Polish Hammer, and you can watch us anytime at Backyard Wrestling. Come see us, baby. I want to say hi to all my Polish friends. Yeah! I got to say, um, especially at the last night's show, oh, it's absolutely in Krakow. It's it was amazing. The Polish hardcore scene is incredible. You guys have such great passion, and you guys are amazing. And um, we'll always support you guys. We love you. We love it. Thank you very much, everybody.